Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Right, we've spoken to Kent about his sister. We've got remnant, site, remnant sites to explore. Oh uh, yeah, we've got medical supplies to look into as well. Over here, collect plants and a memory trigger. Remnant site. All right. As that is closest, I think we'll go in this direction this time. And we'll fast travel to here. Nomad, there we go. Pretty sure that's just going to be a random encounter again. So. You know the drill? Let's get those cores. I don't know what they're doing over there, but we'll leave them to it. Hmm. No one here? That is unusual. Ah, oh, there they are. Happy N7 day, by the way. At least this it's N7 day at time of recording this. It won't be by the time this episode goes up. Oh shit, press the wrong button. I very much doubt we'll be getting any any news today. About the next Mass Effect. Although that would be nice. Someone hiding somewhere. Yes, whatever that is, I will take it. Hopefully we do hear something about the next Mass Effect today, but I doubt it. I think we're a long way off of that yet. Pathfinder, I am picking up unusual readings at the final site. Energy levels are higher than normal. The cores, they're already unstable. We need to hurry. Alrighty. We're stuck in the wall. Uh, never mind. Sucks for you. Ow. Critical temperatures detected. Seek safety immediately. I think that's it. All right, wrong button. Okay, where to next? Over there. Right, well, uh, first thing I'm going to do actually, I'm going to head back here, 
get recharged. Restocked. I'll try. You don't like me. I don't like your methodology. Oh, don't hide behind vocabulary. All right, everything all right there, you two? Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. Thanks, Sam. Let's avoid the holes. got scavengers and fiends yay Fuck off. Anyone else? Looks like Right, are you done now? Enemies incoming. Fuck's sake. Yeah, I don't really have time to keep dealing with all of you. Fuck. 
because my life support is running low. So could you maybe don't? Sorry, PB, I need ammo. There we go. Right, second one's around there. The ambient temperature is normal. Ah, yes, shade. Oh. Life support is back online. Excellent. What are you I doing? Above normal temperatures. Oh, why? Can you maybe climb the things? That would be like really useful. Oh, this takes an age. We did it. The cores are safe. We dodged a big one, Ryder. Thank you. Excellent. Normal temperature range, Pathfinder. All right. Now that that's all out the way, what next? What's over there? Medical supplies. And memory trigger. Right, I'm going to go there first, I think. Get resupplied. Whoops. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Good to know. Thanks, Sam. Check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Yes, yeah, Sam, you don't need to keep reminding Pathfinder. me. I detect scavenger constructs ahead. <sighs> Can we maybe not? Morda and her clan still hate the Nexus. Guess you should never make a Krogan angry. It's amazing they managed to set up any kind of working columns in this hellscape. They're Krogan. They can live anywhere. Right, there we go. Why are you not letting me scan it now? There we go. Right, I don't know what they were doing here, but... It's now scanned. Okay, I've changed my mind about that one. I don't want to really go here yet, so... Oh, it looks like I may have to. All right, never mind. We will carry on going this way. Activating automated forward station deployment. We might as well progress the story a bit actually while we're here. Let's see what the big deal is. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Cool. We're getting close to the Krogan colony. 
I detect above normal temperatures. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Thank you, Sam. Move Hello. Along. No outsiders. He's with me, human Pathfinder. The one you were telling us about? Jorgel Strux sent me. I'm supposed to talk with Morda. So now Strux is friends with the Nexus. Traitor. Think I'm a traitor too? Shut it, Greg. I'm not here to step on any toes. I can help you guys out. You assume we need help. You do. Hey, you guys did your job. Now stand down and let them in. But Drag, didn't I tell you to shut up? I'll spread the word so Morda knows you're here. Good. I'll see you inside, right? I'm gonna have a few more words with this pair first. Fair enough. Well. Wonder how long he'd last in a real fight. You realize we can hear. Have you taken down any architects? I don't think so. Well, if you want, here's new to Chunker. When on a soft, squishy human like you should probably steer clear of the wildlife out there. You said something about a worm? Not a worm. The worm. Huge. Invincible. You can't miss it. Pops out of the dunes from time to time. Plows down everything in its path. As if this planet wasn't deadly enough. Good news is, it doesn't attack us. It doesn't seem to care about us at all. Just stay out of its way. It'll barrel right through you, tear you to pieces. Thanks for the heads up. Right. I'm just going to steal some of your resources. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Hello. Uh, hello. I, I noticed you were listening. Uh, is it because you're a fan of the Krogan genius, Dr. O'Kear? I'm frantic because a terminal with all his research was accidentally sold to a junker. Um, no. Maybe? What was on it? His work regarding Krogan physiology and the genophage was advanced. I was his protege. Or, uh, I was acquainted with his protege. <laughs> Anyway, it's encrypted, but it would be bad if it fell into the wrong hands. I can give you a nav point and the name of the scavenger I accidentally sold it to. You talk about Dr. O'Kear like I should know who that is. Dr. O'Kear was on the leading edge of Krogan genetics and possibly curing the genophage. And not using the slow genetic mutation approach the initiative has invested in. I have, I had a collection of his research. I hope to cure the genophage in the colony. Send me the nav point and the terminal identification. Done. I hope it's still on the planet. The Junker was aggressive. Ah, uh, Dr. O'Kear. The best thing he did was give us grunt. Uh, yes, real genuine Varen Jerky is just like your battle master used to make it. It's the kind of jerky you can put between your lip and gum during a fight and the smell of blood mixes with the taste of salt and send you into blood rage that much faster. We'll be taking offers all week. Serious inquiries only. Got a weapon that uses special parts and isn't worth paying for expensive repairs on. I've got a custom uh, microfabricator and several hundred years of experience getting old guns firing again. Maybe you need a chemical spine augmentation on the stock or maybe an internal reskin of your barrel can help your firearm stop pulling in the right to, to the right and give you the accuracy you remember all right fair enough all right nothing too important there All right, let's go meet this Morda. Should track down a fiend later. It's been ages since I had a good fight. Krogan gonna Krogan. You know, just 
stick around. See how it plays out here. No promises. Uh, I've got some questions. I want to make it clear that yes, this is genuine varan jerky, not textured proteins covered in salt, so that you can can't tell the difference. Not some garbage I came up with that kind of tastes like the same. This is prime cut varan, slow roasted, clicks in style, and then marinated in pie jack sauce. It's ready to kick down the door to your mouth and ch and charge in shotgun first to assault your taste buds. I've got a full crate, and the best offer takes them. Of course it's cloned, you whiny bunch of vulture. I said it wasn't textured proteins. I never said it was original meat. It's built from a template and <laughs> preserved tissue, though. You can ask a scientist. It's real varan meat, even if it never hung on the bone itself. Now quit whining and make an offer. Scabs being scabs. We ought to check it out, actually. See if we can get in you hear Garak and his team right. tried to fight the worm? Epic battle. Got in a few... If you had a worm hunting, let me know. I'll plan your funeral. <laughs> Charming. All right. Who's over here? Destiny Ascension model. Oh yes, I will take that. Mine. Barca, listen to yourself. I know what I saw. Did that worm think I wouldn't notice? It's my squad, not Gren's, and I'll be damned if I let them take orders from him. What do you want me to do? Handle it, Cortic, or I will. Half the time, I feel like I'm the only one holding this colony together. Trouble? Varka and Gren fought together back home, side by side, but always in competition. Made them stronger. Now they have no enemies to fight, so they're fighting each other. I can see the tension building. Colonists taking sides. This is how clan wars start. A divided colony will never survive out here. Which is why we need to act fast. The best way to stop this feud is to perform a rite of union. Which is? Shove them into a ring with a beast. Make them fight as a team. Defeating a common foe creates a powerful bond. Krogan, don't take that lightly. Help me perform the rite, and we can hold this colony together. How am I supposed to help with the rite? For one, they need something to fight. I hope you don't mean me. <laughs> no. But I do need you to help me drive a beast into the arena. Shamans make a special lure for this. Should help subdue it. You really think Varka and Gren could cause a war? Big problems can start out small. Not taking any chances. I'll do whatever I can to help. Good. Set this lure out in the wild to attract the fiend. The beast might be feisty at first, so stay on your toes. I'll keep Varka and Gren from each other's throats till you get back. Good luck. All right, there we go. Where did you get the red for all these canopies? Die from red leaves. Trees actually grow out here. Can't say I care for shade. Life ain't good without sun in your eyes. <laughs> I don't sell Rincol to humans. Matter of principle. What's it like living out here? It's no paradise, but it's easier than Tachanka. Back home, stepping outside during a nuclear wind could tear the plate from your skull. What's Rincol? Krogan alcohol. Like drinking a live grenade. I distill it myself. Strongest in the galaxy. That's impressive. Not really. I'm the only distiller in the galaxy. <laughs> what made you pick up and come to Helios? I was sick of living on a dead planet, watching my people tear each other apart. Hitching a ride on the Nexus was a chance to start over. But you left the Nexus. And built this. Best decision the Krogan ever made. Just wish it was on better terms. Not wise to burn bridges out here. What was it like traveling on the Nexus? Don't know. I remember Solarians packing us into cryo. 
Some of us needed a double hit to fall asleep. Then, nothing. Suddenly, we were here. You want to know more, ask Varric. Says he woke up mid-journey and lived 50 years alone on the Nexus. He has well. to be lying. Probably. Good story, though. What do you have against selling Rincall to humans? Spent too much time babysitting humans who think they can stomach it. Fact is, you can't. Maybe it won't kill you, but it'll leave me a mess to clean up. I bet I could handle it. Typical. <laughs> That's all for now. Back to it. Uh, no, Grot. Right here, this is Grot, an old friend. Practically built this whole place. Don't let the fact that he's hurt not bother you. He can't help it. What do you think of the colony? Pretty great, huh? When you said colony, I didn't think you meant this. Why didn't you tell me, Drac? Wasn't sure about you at first. And then it seemed simpler to just show you when we got here. It's... rustic. That's what we're going for? Rustic. I'm guessing you have questions. There's a lot of prefab materials here. And shuttles. Some of it was gear we had stored away on the Nexus. The rest we sort of stole when we left. Not like anyone was gonna stop us. Fair enough. How long has the colony been here? Since we left the Nexus. After the mutiny. Just like that? Leave the Nexus, start a colony? We're Krogan, kid. We can live anywhere. Could have parked our tails on a volcano and handled it just fine. The plants here. Where'd they come from? Ever since the clan got here, Vorn and his assistant have been working hard on the greenhouse. We built him and Hark some pretty fancy digs. Lights and everything. New Tachanka's plants grow way better than the ones back home. Way less radiation. Good point. You seem at home here, Drac. And you're not getting any younger. Ever think of retiring? The day you dig my grave, old-timer. Sad honor that'll be. How do you know Drac? We mined together back when our quads had barely dropped. Now I just can't seem to get rid of them. I'll talk to you later. All right. Right. Uh, I think that might be. Raffinal no bread. Okay. Uh, there's more You Ravenor Brank? Struck sent me. He said hey. that you... Yes. Find me later near the fighting pit. Hey, Nexus. I'm the one you talk to around here. Are you Morda? I'm Nakmar Morda, overlord of the Krogan in Helios. Overlord? And you're the celebrated Pathfinder from the Hyperion, found at last. I'm Ryder. This is thrilling. I've never stood so close to a Pathfinder before. Mostly because the Krogan never got one. Welcome to New Tachanka. You mean that? Because it doesn't sound like you mean that. You're right. I don't. You weren't there when the Council Species on the Nexus banded together to screw over the Krogan. Again. New Galaxy, same crap. I'd just like you to give me, personally, the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Why are you here, Pathfinder? To see what a successful colony looks like. Our outposts are new. We could use the advice. Your manipulation is so transparent. No advice for you. Only regret. Watch. The Krogan will thrive and the initiative will pay. Get out of my face before I smash it. A pleasure catching up with the new Krogan hierarchy. See you soon. 
Alright. She's a real charmer. That confirmed our worst fears. Yeah. Maybe. The initiative will pay. She said that, right? I, I didn't imagine it. Let's talk to Brank before we freak out. Uh. Okay, let's go find Brank. Where, where's the fighting pit? to live for myself than to see this place go the same way as Tachanka. Don't be stupid. I'd love to take down the worm. Don't be stupid. Yeah, they're ready. So you're the human pathfinder. You look different from the pictures I saw. You probably saw pictures of my dad. Your dad? You replaced him as pathfinder? It's a long story. Haven't really kept up with Nexus news. Enough trouble to occupy me here. Scavengers? Amongst other things. You seen the flop house yet? That's where they get together. 80% shacks, 100% trouble. I'll give you the nav point so you can avoid it. Or not, as you choose. Have you had much trouble with scavengers at the colony? Not yet. They're not that stupid. A bunch of squishies against a hundred odd Krogan? Give it a little time. Resources run low, they'll get desperate. And who knows? Tell me more about the flop house. It's a loose collection of shelters where some scavenger gangs gather. They knock each other around, drink, and then when they're all riled up, run raids. And if you get close when they're hungry, well, that's how I lost a liver and gained a limp. Shit. Thanks. This information will come in handy. Just trying to help. Be careful out there, Pathfinder. Let's grab that. Yeah, you want to play the heavy for a criminal? Mortis says we don't answer to it. All right, what's over here? Okay, you're not Brink. Pathfinder, when you travel, do you meet many Angara? Sometimes. Have you met one named Lietta? I don't think so. Why? She was a salvager, made runs to Elodin all the time. When she landed, she would always stop here first. We climbed the dunes together, took in the view, talked for hours. Lietta had a hard time in this heat, so I said I'd make her a cryo bracelet. Were you two? You know, we were friends. At least I thought so. One day she just stopped coming. I don't know where she is, if I'll ever see her again. You think something happened to her? She could have taken a new job. Maybe she was sick of Elodin. But if there's even a chance she ran into trouble, I can't stand not knowing. Tell me more about Lietta. She's adventurous, optimistic. Her jokes could make a Grogan blush. In a place like this, she stood out. I think she'd stand out anywhere. I could track her down for you. Make sure she's okay. Isn't there a salvager at the Paradise? I would like that. If you find her, will you give her the cryo bracelet? Tell her she can use it to visit me again. Thank you, Pathfinder. You're welcome. You seem different from the other Krogan. <laughs> My father called me a Salarian in a Krogan body. Supposed to be an insult. Joke's on him, though. I like Salarians. What are you doing up here? Looking. Back home, we didn't have time to just stop and look. Is life that different here? It was all about survival. Here, we don't have to fight so hard. Of course, the older ones still think they have to fight. 
Maybe it's just in their blood. Sounds like Helios was an easy choice for you. New galaxy, new life. Not interested in being a merc like my father, or battling it out on Tijanka. I almost didn't want to be packed into cryo for the journey. Wanted to see the whole thing. Would have been pretty lonely. Never be bothered by loneliness. The views would have been worth it. I should get going. I should go. Oh, there's a question mark. Nice weather, isn't it? Too hot. Makes my plate itch. Don't be such a downer. Pathfinder, welcome. You don't welcome an alien into our colony, you ignorant child. Shut up, old man. Sorry about that. Don't mind him. Credits are credits, I say. About time someone around here is friendly. Just give him time. Prove you're one of the good ones. Now buy something before he starts yelling again. All right. Uh, of course, you only sell shotguns. No minerals. No upgrades for the nomad. All right, what's up with you, Grumpy? Well, look at that. Not one of those damn scavengers, are you? Fight. I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. That's worse. Look, you want to buy? Talk to my seller. I hired him so I don't have to deal with the customers. The Nexus is paradise compared to this. You don't want to go back? Even a little? So we can be your attack dogs again? Get treated like dirt until we finally fight back? This is no different than the rebellion back home. Only time we get respect is when we take it by force. We were stupid to think it would be any different here. You talk like you saw the rebellions. You can't be as old as Drac. I was born during the final year, just before the Turians hit us with the Genophage. My father died in the fight on Canrum. Took two dozen Turian guns to drop him. I'm glad he didn't live to see us riding in cargo on the Nexus like pets. Bet the scavengers are crawling all over the salvage you pick up. Not too bad. I pick my scrap out in Anoraxia, where squishies like you can't handle the heat. I don't get too close to the flophouse. Scavengers gather there like insects. Can't defend my salvage against those numbers. Look at me. I was a warrior, and now I fight vermin over a junk heap. I hear you woke up on the journey to Helios. That cry wasn't enough to keep me down. Was alone for a hundred years before we reached the cluster. I thought it was fifty years. Fifty, a hundred. It's all the same when you're living on nutrient paste. <laughs> I should get moving. I'll be here, selling junk. Alrighty. Where does this take us? Right back round to the entrance. Alright. So where's this damn fighting pit? Ah, maybe this door. Ran into some of those scavengers on patrol. That's where your dad came from. Don't tell anyone. Ah, here we go. It sounds like it's down this way. If you say so. Ravenor Brank. Quiet. Anyone tells Morda I'm talking to you and I'm kicked out. Last thing I want to do is jeopardize the Nexus or this colony. Me neither. Or Clan Ravenor. Or Clan Jorgo. Or Clan Erdnot. Some in Clan Nagmore, too. Okay, got it. Did you see the crashed ship as you landed? Mortars after the drive core. She can't activate it. It's remnant. What are you talking about? She's building a bomb. 
With a drive core as a power source? Sam? Dangerous to those handling it, but in the end, very possible. Demolition teams have been busting down walls for months, battling those robots and scavengers. Mods here want peace with the Nexus. If Morda gets that drive core, boom, it's over. Now get away from me. Got it. Thanks. All right. So, uh, Morda is all kinds of crazy. Jesus, that is a lot to read. Oh, well, we've got plenty to do on Elden. Look at this mess. Oh, shit. Look at what we a built. Bomb? Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Cora. All right, so this is where I need to uh, lure a creature for the fight. Team Rincall. Make a bet on Rincall. Brogan Hunter. Hello. Nexus, how about you? Elden ain't a place for wimps. But it's kicking your human ass. Yeah, ha. <laughs> no thresher maws on Earth to practice on. I do okay. I'd like to see it. Next time we go out looking for fiends, we'll take you. Fiends? Yeah, they're tough. How about we find an architect? Throw that in the mix. Now we're talking. Might kill us. But that sounds fun. You're okay, Nexus. <laughs> I'm not just saying that for bragging rights. A hopeful father. Hey, Nexus, back me up. The initiative did cure the genophage like they promised, right? Not a cure. They've made some good progress. Barely. There's no point in getting our hopes up. It's our duty to populate the colony with strong Natmore offspring. Am I right? Have you tried having kids before? Of course. Before the journey and after and <laughs> often. <laughs> we just need to keep trying. Doesn't hurt to try. It's easy for you to say. Your children don't die in their eggs. This is a new life for the Krogan. Anything can happen. Come on. Nexus has a point. We've actually got a shot at having a kid now. Let's continue this discussion later. Uh, it's a shame you missed the actual genophage cure by 600 years. Actually, not even that, because we cured it in... How long does Mass Effect 3 take place after 2? I think it's 6 months? So, yeah. We missed the cure by 6 months. On the plus side, they wouldn't know about it. But still... Ain't that a bitch? Okay, I'm back here now. Alright, I think I've spoken to everyone I need to speak to for now. Yeah. Alright. So... With that in mind, let's fast travel to there. All right then. Okay, so. Oh, blimey, that's put a few extra bits and pieces for us to do. Right, so. Memory trigger. Into world fiend habitat. Plant samples. Memory trigger. Nerf point by Ghana. Let's go get a few more of these FOBs down. Tick, Cora. Oh, you're no fun. 
No, getting yammered at isn't fun. Yammer back then! Raise your pulse rate, something. I'll just remain at the ready if you don't mind. Sorry, oh, I dozed off for a minute. <laughs> There we go. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Excellent. Right, so what have we got around here? Memory trigger. Enter a wild fiend habitat. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Right, as we're here. Let's see if we can get this done. Defeat and tame the fiend. Here we go. Come on. Wish I knew how that lure works. Could come in handy. Let's go back to the shaman. All right. He's not dead, he's just tamed. Just keeping an eye out. Good for you. All right. Oh, yeah, wrong way. I need to go this way. Alright. I've done the thing. down from a challenge. Gren's another story. He refuses to fight with Varka. I'll talk to Gren. He'll come around. Ha! <laughs> Good luck. Coward's afraid my fighting will make him look bad. I don't think he'll listen to an outsider, but it's worth a shot. Gren, he was the merchant before, wasn't he? Shut up. Oh no, someone else. It's Gren, isn't it? I'm the Pathfinder. There's a right of union waiting for you. I told Cordic, and now I'm telling you. I won't do it. Varka already agreed to the right. Don't care. I'm not fighting with that arrogant sack of rocks. I guess Varka was right after all. What? She told me not to bother. Said you wouldn't want to get shown up. That's so? Thought she'd take all the glory for herself? Typical. Prove her wrong. Don't think I can't tell what you're doing. Any chance you'll just give up and leave me alone? You had to be stubborn. Now you're stuck with me thought so fine if it gets everyone off my back 
outperform the right. <laughs> I don't trust Parker to fight fair. The second that fiend is dead, she'll gun for me. I need a third party to keep her in check. Someone neutral, like a Pathfinder. Me? That's right. I don't fight unless you do. What about my squad? No squad. Just you, me, and Farka. Guess I don't have much of a choice. All right, let's get this debate settled. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> now this is a fight. All right. I'm stuck on something. That's one down. God damn it. Whoa. God damn it. In your own time, guys. Three fiends. They'll be talking about this for years. You're a tough one, Varka. A couple of those bites should have killed you. Almost did. Your quick shooting saved my hide. Yeah, well... Was that a compliment I heard? Don't look so smug. <laughs> you're pretty impressive yourself, Pathfinder. Too bad you're not Krogan. You'd make a good warlord. Warlord Ryder does have a nice ring to it. <laughs> Spoken like a crow. Yay, we did it. Yay, well, that's one issue resolved. On 
Yay, and now they're good friends again. And on that happy note, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>